The human mind plans the way, but the Lord directs the steps. So said someone in the Proverbs, written in scripture, and that's the text that I want to pursue today. Because we all have plans, as it were. Now on January the 13th, 1914, an advertisement appeared in a London newspaper. Now, I know some of you have heard something like this before, but this is the advertisement, not that you were there when it happened, well, some of you may have been, anyway. Men wanted for hazardous journey, small wages, bitter cold, long months of complete darkness, constant danger, safe return doubtful, honor and recognition in case of success. Now I tried to run this past our marketing department and say this is what we're going to market Concordia for the year. <laughs> However, they voted me down. This advertisement uh, solicited seafarers for a treacherous journey to and across the Antarctic continent under the leadership of Ernest Shackleton. Hazardous journey, small wages, bitter cold, constant danger, safe return, doubtful. Now, that sounds like something that you'd like to be involved in, right? Well, guess what? 5,000 people applied for the few positions that were available. Clearly, the men in London at that time were the kind of people who were up for a challenge. And I know something, if you know something of Ernest Shackleton's crew, then you know there was going to be a challenge, a huge challenge, which ended up as the heroic story of survival and perseverance. So this small group of men then set sail on a ship called the Endurance, aptly named, though we will see it didn't endure that long. They didn't even make it to the continent, got trapped in ice, and spent 281 days of a bleak winter in 1915 on the ship. Then the spring came, and with it, the ice flows started to shift and crushed the boat. So they had to leave the boat, and headed for the continent across the ice. Shackleton and a small crew later on set off on a lifeboat in search of rescuers. And nearly a year later, it took a whole year after they left their boat, they actually were all rescued, and every one of them returned to civilization. If you want to read a really fascinating story, read about Shackleton. I didn't have the time to read, so I waited till the movie came out. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and, and Kenneth Branagh stars as Shackleton in this movie, if you want to look for it, and it's an excellent, excellent movie. And when I watched this movie, it kind of inspired me to think about what we are endeavoring to do here. One thing that one has to recognize is that this crew and this journey could not have happened without the leadership of someone such as Shackleton. He made the difference between success and failure. And I thought about this not so much because of his exceptional leadership or personal sacrifices, all of which he had to make in order to ensure that his, cure, his crew would survive all this time. But Shackleton had a facility to be able to read the situation, to adapt to rapidly changing conditions, to alter his strategies and plans because he knew he had to reach that destination which was to, at this point, get his men home. Dogged determination, ingenuity, inspiration. It takes a good leader, but it also takes a good team to follow that leader. And so, here we are, new and returning students, faculty and staff, at the 90th opening convocation of Concordia University College of Alberta, ready to start a course toward our collective future. And I think most of you as students have your destination in front of you. In not so many years, you want to march down the aisle at graduation. For some of you in three years, others four years, some of you five years, some of you six years, some of you will graduate and come back. But your aim is to receive a degree from Concordia and to embark on a successful career or to go to graduate school. But since you're at Concordia, I can guarantee you that you're going to receive much more than this. Because we believe that we will equip you to make a difference in the world, to lead and to discover what your calling in life actually will be. But think on Shackleton as you embark on this journey today. As he sailed forth, his ship got stuck, got crushed. As you start into university this year, you might get stuck at times. 
You're going to feel that the world is crushing in around you. You will have to persevere in the most trying and desperate circumstances. And that's just the first week. <laughs> but know that in all of this, you are not alone. Because around you are the select few who, were, who applied, but who were chosen to be in a place like this who all applied for this adventure, which is an education at Concordia. And all of you have the gifts to help each other succeed. And you have the guidance of professors who really care and who will provide you with the skill you need to succeed. And you can succeed. The crew expected this from Shackleton, and I think you can expect this from Concordia. But to leave the imagery behind, None of us can predict where your studies will take you. You might find what you first intended to do is not what you are going to be doing because you came across that one professor who was just so engaging, you said, this is what I want to spend my time at university studying. And I promise you that all of us here, faculty and staff, your fellow students, and the thousands of alumni who have come before you, we're going to do everything that you're going to reach your destination. Because you can expect more from us. And you know why you can expect more from Concordia? Because we all expect more of ourselves. Over the last year, we've been looking at how we can serve our students better. How we can make a bigger difference in the lives of those who come to our halls. And we call this plan Concordia Tomorrow. And for us, the destination is now clear. Together, we intend to create a university that will be recognized nationally and internationally for its graduates' knowledge, skill, integrity, and wisdom. And you will see that's kind of our mission statement. It's not kind of, it is our mission statement. And we intend to be student-centered, offering you superior program designs and excellent program delivery. And all this is grounded in our faith, in intellectual integrity, in that tradition, happens to be a Lutheran tradition, that encourages diversity and openness. Because Concordia wants to be a diverse and open community. And just look around you at the people who are here. We are indeed a diverse community. But we're all engaged in the common pursuit of truth. And the Concordia of tomorrow will be diverse. And it's going to be a growing community because I know that if we do what is right, if we accomplish what we set out to accomplish, to give you more. You will go out and you will tell those around you, this was one of the best experiences in your life and you want others to have that same experience. And as a result of that, this institution will grow. I hope it'll be some 3,000, 4,000 students, which you think might be huge, but it's not that huge within the next five to 10 years. We envision a university that will be acclaimed for the vitality of its undergraduates for our graduate programs, for the professional programs that we have. And we're going to equip both Canadian and international students to lead and thrive in a global community. Most importantly, we hope that everything that you learn is going to connect to the life that you want to live in this world so that you can ultimately make a difference. And so, we've got our destination. This is what we intend to do. As I said, we want you to expect more, and we want to deliver more. We've tasked our crew, we've loaded our supplies, we're getting ready to sail. And we're going to embark on the most comprehensive and extensive change program in Concordia's 90-year history. With faculty, staff, students, alumni, and community leaders, we all will have the opportunity to contribute. And we're going to make that difference and realize our goals. And Concordia is going to be a tremendous alma mater, and you will look back at these years and say, I hope you will say, some of the best years of your life. Not just some, not all. So like Shackleton and the crew of the Endurance, you don't know what's going to come before you. We know that these journeys can be daunting, obstacles before us and impossible at times, but we will reach our goal. And we'll require that each one of us will work together as a team and sometimes sacrifice, but most of all, getting back to our text, all of these things as we set forth our plans, we have to remember, we will get nowhere unless God direct our, directs our steps. And so I pray that God speeds each of us to the task before us. Amen. Amen.